Yo, what's going on guys? Floyd here back here with another Gosh Darn Damn Nerd video. This time I got a little bit of an interesting video for you guys today. So, let's hop right into it. So, alright, I I was, you know, in my house and everything. And uh, I wanted to take a dip. And so I went outside and I took a dip. And uh, started spitting outside and everything. Now, as you guys know, I left my, uh, as you guys know, I left my mud jug over at Nick Abbott's house. The George Zivers house, so I don't have a mud jug, so I can't really dip inside very well without a bottle. But uh, anyways, I just went inside because I had to go. I had to go take a shit, so I was like, "All right, well, you know, I don't want to take this dip out yet. Let me go take a shit. I shouldn't be that long." So I went in there and like I took a shit, and while I was taking a shit, man, like it just, you know, sometimes you get those short shits where you're just like done. Well, this time it was not one of those. It was just it it didn't want to end, so. I was sitting there with a mouthful of spit and nothing to do with it. Because I couldn't spit on the ground. And I couldn't spit it on the, uh, in the sink or anything because I couldn't reach it because of my freaking, uh, where I was at. And I was thinking to myself, well, fucking A, dude. How am I supposed to spit? Because I'm about to swallow this shit if I can't spit it. And I don't want to swallow spit, dip spit, so. I was at a little bit of a dilemma. Now, this is going to be a short video because I don't really have much to talk about. But it, I just want to show you guys something interesting. So. Let's pack a lip real quick. We got some skull extra mint with us today. We're gonna go ahead and finish off this can. Uh, and I'll tell you guys about what I did. So I don't know how creative you guys are on like mud jugs and all that, but sometimes you just don't have a bottle with you and you don't know what to do. Well, for public restrooms and everything else like that, I'm going to get you guys covered on that. Alright, so I didn't have anywhere to spit. And I was looking around trying to find like a cup or something to spit in so I could wash it out later. But there was none. So I basically had nothing to spit in and just a mouthful of spit. So I was thinking to myself and I was like, you know what? This might be kind of cool. And I took this. Which you can usually find in, uh, you know, your bathroom. And uh, if you can't, then you could, like, pretend you're in a public restaurant, right? And you got you want to take a dip. So you go to the bathroom and take a dip. You forget your uh, bottle in the truck, though, so you don't have nowhere to spit. And so what do you do? Do you just not take a dip? No. You take a dip. So if you ever find yourself in this situation... A cool thing to do that I just figured out is take one, take this thing, okay, which you can find in almost every bathroom. Just if you can't find one, like, which you probably can, but if they don't have any toilet paper, then you just shit out of luck. But take a take a toilet paper roll, you know, unroll it, and then take some of the, you know, the toilet paper that you get from unrolling this, and take it. And shove it down like that. Okay? Put it near the bottom. And spit right there. Due to the toilet paper, it won't go down so it won't spill. It's basically like a mud jug. Of course, this can't be like... This is a temporary solution, so... Like while you're taking a shit or something. I doubt it could hold mountains of spit or anything like that, but just a cool little technique that I learned that I picked up from just uh, in my own house. I thought I'd let you guys know that. Anyways, on more important stuff, which this is kind of important, but on more important stuff, let's talk about friendships, okay? Now, I'm friends with a lot of different people, you know. And uh, sometimes I want to hang out with... There's two people that are just really my friends. Like, there's a couple people that are just my friends that I text on Facebook and stuff and sometimes go see them. But there's two people in particular that I just, you know, have a brotherly relationship with. And that's Nick Horn and Nick Abbott. Now... 
Recently, Nick Abbott hasn't been hanging out with me at all. He's been canceling on me every five seconds, which kind of pissed me off at first. And uh, Nick Horn's been in Florida, so I couldn't really hang out with him. But I just want to get one thing straight about people and friendships and shit. Guys, when you have a friend and you don't want to hang out with him, just say that. Like, just be like, hey, bro, you know, I don't want to come over right now. Or if you feel like they'll get mad at that, then make up an excuse. But still tell them that you're not coming. Now, Nick Abbott recently has been doing a lot of stuff where he hasn't told me about what he's doing. And I don't know where he's at. I've been sitting there. I woke up at 10 o'clock the other day. I mean, I announced that I was going to do a vlog on one of my videos, I think. And never did it because he didn't come over. Now... When I got up the next morning, I got up at 10 because that's what time he said he was going to come over. And uh, I was sitting there waiting on him. And Nick, if you're watching, we're straight still. So don't worry about that. I'm just telling everybody, you know, to tell people what to do. And, you know, if you want to pick up on that too, then you can. But personally, you've already apologized and everything. So we're, we're straight. Anyways, back to my viewers. Uh. If you got a friend and you don't want to hang out with them, just tell them that, you know, tell, let them know what you're doing. You know, if, especially if they keep calling you over and over again, let them know what you're doing. Don't just bail on them and not tell them anything because it, it makes people worry about you. And, uh, so if you ever get into a situation to where you need to, like, tell somebody what you're doing, just tell them what you're doing. Just tell them the truth. Tell them that you don't want to come over or if you don't have friends like that that you can't you can't tell them that then make up something but communication is a must me and Nick Abbott almost became not friends if it weren't for the fact that I'm freaking you know we if it weren't for the fact that we've been friends for so long you know I probably wouldn't be his friend anymore do this because he did this twice in a row and uh, I know he's got some shit to deal with on his own, so I'm not really blaming him. That's another reason why we're still friends, but this can end friendships, fellas. This right here, not telling people what to do or what you're doing, you know, just that kind of thing that can end friendships. So try to try to do try to tell people what you're doing and always keep it 100 with your friends. Yeah, that's about it for this video. I uh, don't really have much to talk about. A um, little interesting toilet paper trick. You guys should try that sometime when you're in a bathroom and you don't have nowhere to spit. Pretty cool. Stay true to your friends, you know. And uh, YouTube. We will see you later. The Florida Dipper signed out once again. Get ready for the next video, fellas. It's going to be a good one. Bye.